create amazing animations with stable diffusion. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you Animate Diff. You can use this inside of Automatic 11.11, but I'm also going to show you this in Google Colab where it works more consistently and gets you better output. Let's get started. This has a GitHub page, of course, and I would suggest you check that out because on the GitHub page you find a lot of information. You also find down here samples of how that is supposed to look. For example, here we have realistic vision, so you can also make realistic videos with that. The maximum amount of frames you can generate at the moment is 24 frames. But now when you scroll up here, you're finding multiple different versions on how you can install this. There is a Gradio version, there's an automatic 11.11 web UI extension, there is a Google Colab version. Today I'm going to show you the automatic 11.11 extension and the Google Colab. Now you don't have to download anything from this page. Instead, you're going to go to your extensions tab. You want to click here on available, click on load from and then in the list search for animate diff. If you have the search bar up here, you can also type animate diff. And of course, on the right side, you're going to click on install. After you finish with that, you want to click on installed up here and click on apply and restart. On top of that, I would also suggest that you just restart automatic 1111 completely by closing the CMD window and then reopening it. Now for this to work on your local computer, you also need checkpoint files. For that, there is an MMSD version 1.4. I have found that this works better for me. And then there is an MMSD version 1.5. I would suggest you download both of them. Go to this link that I have linked below the video. And then here on the right side, you can click on these arrows to download the files. These files go into your automatic 1111 folder, in there into the extensions folder, in there into the SD Web UI animate diff folder and in there of course into the models folder. When you are in automatic 1111, this is not going to be a tab up here. Instead, this is going to be one of these areas down here. You can see I have animate diff. I have a pop up for my models that I can choose from. Here you have to enable it so it actually works. You can set here the amount of frames. I have found that you need at least eight frames to get a good quality or more. If you have less than and that the quality of the images is going to be dramatically more bad for some reason. And here you can also set the frames per second. You want to have this GIF to play back afterwards. I would leave the zero here. So this is looping endlessly. You can move the model to CPU, but this is going to be extremely slow. I would not suggest that. Then in most of the settings I have seen, people are using the DDIM sampling method and they are using 25 steps with the resolution of 512 by 512 and a CFG scale of 7.5. A lot of these examples are using the ToonU model. For that, you want to go to the Civit AI page of ToonU and download the beta 5 file, of course, into the models folder inside of Automatic 11.11 and in there into the stable diffusion folder. I have to say that inside of automatic 1111, at least for me, I have a problem with getting really good quality output. There might be something wrong with the extension or maybe there is just more experimentation required on my site. However, it's still worthwhile to download it, the extension and experiment with that because it can still generate amazing outputs. Here you can see several examples of what I have rendered. This is going to use the same prompt and also the same C. So in this case, I'm using 25 steps with a CFG scale of 7.5 and clip skip two. Here I'm using clip skip three just to test that out. And this is less similar to the prompt because it's not using the pink dress I'm asking for It's using a blue dress. Here in the next example, I have clip skip four. And then also I went up as far as clip skip five just to see if this might improve this somewhat strange quality. Next, we have an example where I'm using no negative prompt, just a positive prompt. I'm using 25 steps for that and clip skip two again. Now here I have an example with 40 steps, clip skip two and 7.5 as a CFG scale. Here we have 60 steps. This is again using clip skip two, 7.5 on the CFG scale. Next we have 60 steps, 
where I've rendered the image with the 1.4 model. And then in this example, I have 60 steps with the 1.4 model at clip skip three. Here we have another example. This is using a different seat and I'm using a CFG scale of 9.5 with 25 steps and no negative prompt at clip skip two. When you are on the page of animated diff, you can see down here you have different options. One of them is to use it in Google Colab. So when you click on this link here, it is going to open up Google Colab for you. And here on the left side, you have this button with a play icon on it. You need to click on that and wait until the install is finished, which takes quite a while. After this is finished, when you scroll down, you have here another play button that you can click on and down here you see the commands on what is used and what is generated. So when you look inside of that command, you can see each of the ones with the hashtag in front are not used at the moment. So you can render multiple of these commands at the same time. The other ones are using config content animate diff configs prompt and then a YAML file. And then here you have some more parameters. The most important for you is that you have minus minus L16, which is the length of 16 frames and then the width of 512 and the height of 512. So far as I have seen, all of these images are rendered with this kind of resolution. So I would leave it like that, but you can also try around with other resolutions. Now, where do you find this file and how do you generate your own files? On the left side, you can see here an icon for a folder. Click on that and this will open up these two folders here. Now inside of animate diff, you will click and you will see that you have here the configs and then inside the prompts and here you have these yaml files i would suggest for you to click on these three dots and download one of these files then you can open up these files inside of a node editor and here you can see that you have information like the seed the steps also the guidance scale you have the prompt down here and you have the negative prompt as you can see this is rendering four prompts at the same time so if you don't want that you can simply delete the other prompts and then you can write in here anything you want to have as your prompt. Up here you have different seats. If you want to have a random seat, you can delete all of that and write minus one. I would leave the rest of the settings for 25 steps and 7.5 for the guidance scale. The guidance scale is the same as the CFG scale. And if you only render one prompt, you also can delete here the negative prompt. So only one is left. And then of course, fill in here the information you want to have. After that, you want to go up here and save this as a file under your own name that you want to use for this YAML file. By the way, as an editor here, I'm using no Notepad++. It's a free software you can download. I will link it below the video. So when you're done with this, the only thing you have to do is to find the YAML file you have just created and drag it inside of this folder. Click OK for the warning. You can simply go over here and change the name of this YAML file to what you have generated. Be sure that you type exactly what you have typed as the YAML name. Then after you're finished with this, you can click here on the play button and this is going to start to render what you have set up. When the render has been finished in Google Colab, you will see here on the left side in the samples folder, there is always a folder with the name of your YAML file and then the timestamp after that. So you want to open up that folder, go into the samples folder. And here you see a file that has also your prompt in it in the name. You want to click on that and then click on download to get the GIF file. Sometimes this does not work. In that case, you want to double click on that and this is going to open up up here on the right side, as you can see right now. And then when this is playing, you can simply right click and save this as an image to your drive. If I'm using Google Colab with the free version, this is taking considerably long. In this case, for just one of these GIFs, I have a render time of about four minutes. Now, when you have a paid subscription or you have bought credits and use a A100 GPU, this is going down to about 20 seconds for one of these GIFs to 
be rendered. On the Google Color Pro plan, you can either go for a subscription per month. I would personally not suggest that. I would rather go here for pay as you go for 100 computer units. I was told that about 13 of these computer units are one hour of GPU time. That is one hour of render time, not one hour of you being inside of Google Colab. And these units are good for 90 days, which is about three months. So you have ample time to use them up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.